Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to install Bootstrap 4 as well as we will customize the home page of our application. So let's dive in. And here is the application. I'm going to open terminal here to um, install the Bootstrap 4. So how you are going to install, of course, you are going to use NPM. So to install Bootstrap 4, you need to install jQuery as well as Puffer.js so that the navigation should also work just fine. If you are not sure about what I'm going to talk, just go to Bootstrap website and you will come through. This is the navigation. So this is the drop down. If you do not install Puffer.js, the drop down will not work. That's why you have to install all dependency for the Bootstrap. So here is how you install it. If you have npm, just run npm install. Make sure you are in your project directory and I will say bootstrap and just give a space jQuery, give a space and then popper.js. And we will save that for to the dev dependency. Mm, save dev. I think this is you have to write only save and press enter it is going to install jq bootstrap jquery and puffer.js for you it is done now if i go to the application and open the package.json as you can see we have bootstrap version 4.2 and jquery the latest version as well as puffer.js view and view router that's all we need so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add this to our project we have just download them and put them in the node module directory now we should link them if i go to the source opening the app you don't write it here right you will open the main.js so in the main.js you are going to require the bootstrap as well as jquery so how you are going to import that you are going to import them here the of course it, this is a javascript file but what you can do is you can import your css also here how that is going to work that is the job of webpack like when we install the view here we install webpack also the webpack is going to do the rest of configuration like if you write any uh, uh, css and if you import any css in the javascript webpack is going to compile that down and put them in this in the javascript file and it will work just fine and i will discuss about the advantages and disadvantages of adding or require or putting or importing CSS and JavaScript later for now you can import them here so let's firstly import the bootstrap so you can just write import and you don't have to write any extra sentences just write bootstrap and it is going to import bootstrap so you can put the semicolon here and save it to make sure if this is working or not just open the application here let's change some of the classes here you know some of the bootstrap classes if you know if i open the view and uh, the home page here the home here is the home page so what i am going to do is i am going to put the home inside a container so i will change the home class from here or just give another class of container and we will save it to make sure everything is working just fine if you save it it should send everything to the center because we already have some designing we do not notice that so I will open the let's say under the hello hello I will write a button and this button is going to say click let's give it some of the bootstrap design so I will give it a class of btn btn hyphen primary so if you save it let's check out if the button is yeah the button does not have any design so it means our bootstrap is not added properly so if you refresh the page you hard reload it still it, it didn't take effect because we put the bootstrap code the bootstrap classes here for the button but it didn't take any effect so let's see what is the problem here when i come when you add it here it is going to import only the javascript files now you have to import the css file as well this is just for the javascript you have to import the CSS as well. Since we are going to write a lot of custom CSS, what you can do is you can create a separate CSS file and put all your CSS. Beside that, you can import your uh, bootstrap on that CSS file. That is a lot easy. Uh, I will come to the asset here in the asset uh, folder. I will create a file and I will give it the name of app.scss. So we are going to write some SAS here. 
for now it is just fine now in order to use the CSS which we write here I am going to import it in the JavaScript here you are not required to do the same thing because we are going to write a lot of custom CSS that's why I need to have a custom CSS or general CSS file so that we can write our custom CSS so here you can write again the same way import you see from the current directory go to asset and here we have an app.scss that is how you import your CSS so if you save it for now it should work just fine let us give the body a background of let's say red and we save it and see yeah it is working just fine if this is working just fine you can import your bootstrap here how you import your bootstrap here is how you do that you just say import you write tilde which is going to reference the node module folder go to bootstrap folder which is inside the node module go to scss and import the bootstrap from there and we save it if you save it this time you come to the application it should run because it didn't compile this time yeah it took a little while to compile the file because it is uh, a large file now it should work just fine the font has changed everything has changed as well as the button now you know that you have successfully added bootstrap and bootstrap javascript and as well as the css so now is the time to add jquery how you add that one again it is going to be the same thing you just copy it except you write it here jquery is the javascript one so you have you don't have to worry about any CSS as well as popper JS just write popper JS for now it is working just fine everything works just fine but in the future we might face some problem like how can you access dollar sign how can you access dollar sign or how can you access jQuery in order to fix that one you have to assign them to the window variable to do that what you can do is you have to uh, firstly you have to store j jquery when you import it so you can say j query from jquery this is how you do that one you say import jquery and put it in the variable jquery now the jquery is going to contain all our jquery code so what you can do is you can use it like this the window the dollar sign is equal to window the jquery is equal to jquery how this is going to work oops this is the version control okay now we assign dollar sign which is equal to jquery as well as we put two uh, equal sign here it is of course it is going to be copy of each other you know now uh, anywhere in our application we are going to have access to dollar sign as a jquery as well as uh, the jquery itself now it is working just fine the jquery function or the name it itself now uh, we might need to write some jquery code during the development of our application because uh, bootstrap require that that's why we we import that here so that is the basic of the importing here so what you can do is what i can do is actually i'm going to remove some of the extra stuff from here so how you do that you come to the home page you will remove all of this stuff from here and I will come let's say yeah we have nothing except for the navigation which is in the app directory here so what we are going to do is in the next video I'm going to you know, add some basic template uh, I have decided to design a landing page for our e-commerce website I'm not going to go through all the design but the source code is available on the github I will design it behind the scene and then you can see the source code and it is just a basic landing page. So see you in the next video.